We're here at CES 2020 in the Gigabyte booth looking at the Aero 15, a powerful laptop that runs cool and is color accurate. Coming at you right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. If you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of this model as we're going through the video, you can head down into the description below and use one of those links. If you do make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The Aero 15 a powerful laptop. Right now we're going to do a test and talk about how we can run 6K footage, playback, full quality, without any lag. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Lori now about some of these features. We're here with Lori at the Gigabyte booth talking about the Aero 15. She's going to walk us through some of the more hands-on details and things that actually apply to us as a creative professional and get rid of all that jargon. So Lori, take it away. Hi, Ben. So the Aero 15 is a 4K OLED display. So first of all, you have unparalleled visual acuity. One of the neatest things about the 4K panel is that it's X-Ray Pantone certified. That's not just per batch, that's every single unit. That's the one thing we love to do is make sure all the parts work together for peak performance. But obviously a display is a display, right? Unless it has the power to go with it. So we like to say that the Aero 15 4K OLED is the ultimate high-powered performance machine for content creators. Now, content creators a little wide. Who are we talking about? Video editors, uh, 3D modelers, if you were an architect. So people who make a living using their machines. So to show what's a little bit different, first of all, we thought about connectivity. If you're an artist and you've ever got a gaming laptop and tried to hook up a Cintiq, you know the nightmare. So we made sure that not only can you hook up multiple monitors, in fact, we could have a third monitor plugged in, okay. plug in a Cintiq, have the mouse and the external storage device, plus have your regular display. Pretty it's sweet, right? It. It's got the power to do it. And just to prove it has the power to do it, what we're running demos right now, this laptop is running that video at the far right of me. <laughs> I'm just checking my directions. Yeah, yeah. And on this, this is 6K video footage. Okay. okay, so imagine on a regular notebook without an RTX Studio card, you're probably not gonna even be able to run it well. We're gonna play it with just the CPU, which this model has an i7 core with an RTX Studio 2070 graphics card. I wanna make sure my GPU is off. And we're gonna look at it regular, okay? okay. All right. So notice, there's a little bit of stutter. Okay. But I want you to pay attention. Even with it just running on the i7 core, yeah. we're playing another video yeah, sure. while that's happening. So there's stutter. Put the GPU on. We're going to play. There we go. So as you see, CPU versus GPU. Put that GPU on, and it's playing the video, the, four, the 6K footage. 6K footage. And we're obviously just running the computer, and everything's really smooth playback. That. That's real life application seen as a video editor what this computer is capable of. Some other things I want to add is this computer is running the RTX 2070, 32 gigs of RAM, and the i7 9th generation processor. This model can also come in an i9 processor, but as you see, the i7 runs that 6K footage with no problems, linking up with that RTX 2070 GPU. I really love the ability to run the keyboard RGB at any color pattern. So you can make it wave, you can set it all to red, green, or blue, or you can make it like this candied look, whatever it might be. Also, we have a vent on the top, sides, and bottom. So this machine cools exceptionally well. So one thing that that really helps with is you're not going to overheat and then end up having to draw back some of the power to keep the machine cool because the fans allow you to do that. Now they do say that this laptop can get eight hours of battery life, but that's doing Microsoft tasks, maybe browsing the web. If you're going to be doing some heavy lifting like video editing, graphic design or motion design, you're going to want to bring your charger because I'm going to guess you're going to get around maybe three hours of battery life out of this machine. So overall the performance, the build quality, and that 4K Adobe RGB 100% color accurate screen, this is a great buy for any video editor, motion designer looking for a powerful, lightweight laptop. 
I'm Benji Kaiser, BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the CES 2020 and content beyond. I'll talk to you soon. Some other things I want to add. Some other things I want to add is this computer. <laughs> it's that.